Here we have a very nice content element of the mermaid bundle. Look at this nice effect. So the image zooms in a little bit and then there's a nice uh, sort of bracketed effect that comes in when you hover on it. Uh, we spent a lot of time coding this and it's come out really nicely. We're very happy with it. I'm sure this will get a great result for you with your clients. So how do we change this? First of all, there's uh, images that you want to change. The image size is 528 by 464 pixels. Let's have a quick squiz. Yeah, you just want to make sure that you do it the same as that. And then let's see if there's any effects on the image that we need to adjust. Normally you can just look in the custom CSS here. Nope, I don't see any there. There's a border bottom and let's have a quick look. Let's open that. Okay, I believe this is the purple that we have there. So this is the one we want to change. We're just going to change it to our standard green. And then let's highlight that nicely there. Okay. And then that should be it. So top and bottom. We can quick do a quick preview. Okay, it's not picking up the top one for some reason. It there are uh, there we go. That's the reason why. So there we go. We uh, now we can preview. There we go. So that's changed. Next, we want to go to save and exit. Then we've got the text sequence going here, text 01. Uh, that's just going to remain the same. And then let's switch to design. Then we've got a light purple. This one we can change to a mint green. Just to stick with the format. <coughs> All right. Let's see what else is there. Any colors in the special content in the custom CSS? Nothing there. Okay, so that green's changed. And then we've got the branding and the gray text over there. So we'll just change the branding component, the call to action, and that we can change to the dark green, make it look uniform. And that will be under design. There's the purple. Let's replace that and let's have a quick look. There we go. So that's how you change that. Next would be these um, links on the side. So let's go to those. Here they are right at the bottom, you'll see. So if you want to add um, more modules here, you can. Uh, you're simply going to duplicate that module, just like I've done there. Uh, <clears throat> and then we'll see what that looks like in a moment. I'm just going to update these buttons here. Uh, so you can link out to the read about us page for example or you can click to this view our services button which is also floating on the side let's go to design quickly yes you can change the color as you can see here i'm just going to update that too so uh, let's save and exit and we'll do the same on this one now you would have noticed that there was a hover color and that can only be changed in the custom CSS uh, and for that you want to go into the master CSS color changer here we've got the bracket call out box content information so we've got the side hover um, what does that look like again I believe that was light gray so we just want to stick with the same format again and do it in light green that's over here so I'm gonna just change that out and then all you want to do is copy that and we're going to paste it into our custom CSS box for the page and just paste it in there save update and then we can have a look at the page let's reload so there you can see everything's changed color wise the image is the same uh, obviously you can change that then the green has changed and the hover has changed uh, the about us text there would probably change inside the element and then you'll see we've duplicated the module obviously you want to follow the right left format uh, so what you're going to do is then just um, 
this is the right side, left side. You just want to make sure that you duplicate the light, right module uh, and you'll be good to go. So that's how you update this module. Thanks for watching. Ciao.